a few of us were talking a couple of days ago about um, universities and ITs and uh, there was one person in the community here just asking about you know, the quality of education from an IT, ver that's an institute of technology, uh, versus a college or versus a university. And it, it was interesting, and, uh, well, my take on it anyway, is that the, uh, the quality of education might be exactly the same. It, the quality of education might even be better in an IT, as in you might actually learn more in an IT. <clears throat> but when it comes to universities, what's absolutely key is the reputation of the university. As in, no one will ask you in 10 years' time what your results were. They'll ask you, what college did you go to? I went to Trinity. Oh, Trinity, was it? Really? That's wonderful. Or, like, for example, if you're working somewhere, if you say, I work in, a, I work in Downing Street, I, I work for NASA, it doesn't matter what you do there. Right? You could be, like, I make the tea, I make the coffee, I run up and down to all the important people with blocks of paper, right? I work for NASA, is the point, you know? And it's just interesting how <clears throat> we can be associated with something of, of importance, and, and we're, we're delighted to be associated with something of importance. That, you know, I, I went to a certain college, or I work in a certain place, or, you know, I work on, on Wall Street. You know, there are certain kind of titles or, 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 or places where it's just, you, you, you've arrived. You know, if you're a vet in the locality here, I work for Coolmore, that's like the, <clears throat> doesn't get better. So even, even a minimal role, even a small role, but for such an important organization or endeavor, is still, is still good, even though your role might be small. I'm not the, the, the managing director of NASA, I just, you know, I sweep, the, I sweep the office floors, but I work for NASA. And when we think then of, of the most important things that we have to do, or the most important thing that we have to do here on Earth, which is, of course, <laughs> become saints, uh, open our own hearts to grace and be transformed here, and then, God willing, help those around us as well, there is no greater role, if we can call it a job, it's not really a job, but no greater task than we can have there's nothing more beautiful and more important to be associated with in any way, shape, or form than, than heaven, than getting people to heaven, sanctifying my own heart. You know, I sanctify myself, Lord, that they may be sanctified, that they may be one as you and I are one. Uh, so we open our hearts to God's grace, hopefully allowing that to, 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 to purify us and renew us, that I may do the same then for others, that I might witness then to others. And there's, there's simply no greater role or task or, or endeavor than we can be associated with. I'm not sure if we see that. I'm not sure if we, if we, if we always recognize that. Uh, because is it not true then that everything starts to make sense? That all of the even hidden sacrifices that we make, all of the hidden prayers, and at times all of the, the hidden tears... It all, now it all starts to take on value. You know, your father who sees all that is done in secret will reward you. So it's not all, the, it's, it, we need to have, you know, managing directors of all these places and we need to have uh, important people, smart people making smart decisions, good. But we also need the people on the office floor and the people making the tea and, the, you know, the people, we need, everyone has a role. Everyone has a role. And the fact that they're even associated in any minimal way with something important is something worth, dare I say, boasting about. But our association then with, with this mission of God, <clears throat> with this divine commission that has been given to us, even if our role seems small, <clears throat> it's so important. It's so important. And our Father who sees all that's done in secret will reward us. We have Jesus' word for it three times in today's gospel. So this is a, such, a, such, such a privilege when it comes to, to all that we can do for the greater glory of God. I was just thinking today, it's something we, we, we did meditate a couple of times this, this last month about generosity, you know, and being generous with God. It's an idea that I think, I think is, is often a bit foreign to us, uh, especially if, if we've grown up with a faith that might have been quite minimalist, you know, what do you give to God? Uh... 40 minutes on a Sunday and then the rest of the time is kind of mine really. 
you know, or maybe 40 minutes on a Sunday, and then, uh, you know, 10 minutes prayer in the evening. Again, these things are good, 10 minutes prayer in the evening is a great thing to do, but can we say we're being generous with God? Well, not really, no. I mean, if, if, if our faith is 40 minutes on a Sunday, and even 10 minutes during the day, which isn't bad, I don't think we can really honestly say we're being generous with God. I think we can say we're, we're, we're doing a minimum, we're keep, we're, our, our faith is on life support, we're, we're, we're keeping it going, but, but it's not really giving generously. It's giving maybe a minimum. So when we, we hear today, thin sowing means thin reaping. The more you sow, the more you reap. Each one should give what he has decided in his own mind, not grudgingly or because he is made to do so. Do I have to go to Mass? Do I have to go to adoration? Do I have to go pray? Don't give grudgingly, not because you're made to. For God loves a cheerful giver. Isn't it interesting? God loves a cheerful giver. It's a decision. Lord, I decide to give you this time of prayer with joy. Lord, I decide to go to Mass. I'm tired. I have a million things that I need to get done. A load of stuff I'd like to clear off my desk or a load of emails I'd love to respond to and all this kind of thing. But Lord, I give you this time. This is the most important thing right now. So I give you, I give my heart generously to you. Not because I have to. Not because it's part of the program. Not because I'm a Catholic and uh, I have to go to Mass. and I feel guilty if I don't. None of that. I give generously I give cheerfully because I love you that's just, it's such a I think our faith takes on a whole new kind of a dimension when we give generously and when we give cheerfully to God because then every as I say everything starts to make sense everything even our sacrifices Lord I offer them to you joyfully I give them to you Lord the situation at home which is tough Uh, I offer this to you. I give it to you, Lord. I can't fix it, but you can. So I give it to you. The work situation, which is difficult at the moment, I don't know where I'm going or if I'll have a job next year or whatever it may be, Lord, I give this to you. I give it all to you. Lord, I trust you. And uh, Lord, I'm willing to do my part as well. I'm willing to, to pray daily. I'm willing to make the phone calls, fill out the CVs. I'm willing to actually move as well. I'm not saying, well, the Lord will do everything and I... I don't need to do anything. I'm willing to actually to act. And so we learn then to, to give generously and to receive joyfully and to live this life in, in constant communion with God. And then if people see it, great, and if people don't, I don't really care because <laughs> it's not about people's applause. It's not about pleasing anyone out there. It's about living our life for this audience of one, for love of God. And our Father, who sees all that is done in secret, will reward us. And so we ask the good Lord today to guide us that we will not miss any opportunities that his providence grants us. Opportunities to serve, opportunities to give joyfully. Opportunities to renounce our own will in favor of whoever it is, our responsible or a family member, when we're asked to do things, that we do so joyfully. When we're asked for help, that we give generously. Because the Lord loves a cheerful giver. Amen.